How are you? <laughs> Nere, do you see me? Sí, claro. And hear me? Yeah. yeah. Very well. Okay. Hello, hello. Muy bien, muy bien. Tim, Juan, Lachlan. Hola, Lachlan. Aquí en la Hola. mañana. Sí, buenos días. Ay, ahí veo tú. Buenos días, Lima. Buenos días. Hola, buenos días. Hola. 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 Hola.
it, so we've got all, uh, at least one representative from each of the ACFS, eh? From all, yes. We've got Adelaide, Sydney. Queensland. Who else is missing? Newcastle. Newcastle town is not in yet. So we start and then. Hmm. Well, if you like, let's get started and hopefully the other comrades will join later on. Are people happy with that? All right, it's an, an, I'm happy to chair again, but happy to ask people if they wish to chair, if anybody wants to put their hand up. You're doing a good job, Vinny. Continue. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Gam. All right, so I would like to begin by acknowledging that we're meeting on the stolen lands of the Aboriginal people. The paper was fixed, the tradition honest past, present, and emerging. I remind people that sovereignty was never ceded. Always was Aboriginal land. It will always be Aboriginal land. Thank, thank you, and thank you to Neymar for joining us in our mm -hmm. morning, our cold, miserable, wet morning here in Perth. But I believe it might be nicer in Havana. And mm -hmm. Very hard. Erica, yes. <laughs> but it is late night for Lima in Cuba, so thank you for joining us. Um, as I mentioned before, we do have the apology from Ambassador Ariel Rodriguez, he has some personal commitment, and I haven't received any other apologies. Do people have any apologies to record at all? Not particularly. Chella might join us, but she's busy with other things. <laughs> yeah, that, we understand that. All right. So hopefully the other people have been invited, have been added to the call. They just need to answer the call and join us, join us there. Um, firstly, I would like to begin by give an update on the fundraiser effort. At the moment, it, my course we got uh, some donations yesterday. We got $4,435. In the bank, cleared, we got $30,570. And pledges I received from WI CFMAU, $5,000. They need just clearance from the executive to, to post the money. The Australian Manufacturing Workers Union WI 500 and the MUA Sydney 2000. That would take us to uh, around $40,000. So um, hopefully with the donations from Melbourne, it will be closer and closer to the $50,000 target, which make us all very happy in Hopefully, we will be making this contribution. Uh, I mentioned to Leima that it really is the first time that we put all, you know, a fundraiser of this nature in such a short time to collect $50,000 in, in a few weeks. It has been a wonderful effort. It has a lot of support. It has been 40 donors in my course and several others have donated directly to the bank account, to the ACFS different branches accounts. So it has a lot of support. It's doing the rounds on social media, on Facebook, on the different two groups that we have, on um, on Twitter. And I encourage people to continue to circulate this in the last few days of the campaign. The campaign at this stage ends on the 8th of June but also my course, because they see there that we have collected under $5,000, a advice that we could extend it for an extra week. So everything depends on what we decide here today, if we extend it or we end on the on the 8th and having the funds ready for when Kim Pryor uh, get back to us. So I also would you like to to update that I spoke to, to Kim and 
She just awaiting for a letter a offering to send, is stating that this is an ACFS national campaign of fundraising effort. Uh, that all the monies have been collected by donations in my course and from donations from ACFS members and other donations. And the ambassador is happy to also endorse that letter. So we can send it to the Australian Business Council where they can uh, present it to the bank as part of the requirements on the uh, sanctions, the sanctions uh, requirements that they have to fulfill. So that is some of the stuff that we got there. Um, probably people are happy we could invite Kim uh, next time, you know, to to meet with us uh, to see how she got planned this to, um, to, to transfer the monies if that is the option we're gonna we're gonna use. So that's the, the, the updates that I have. Um, uh, before we give um, Leima uh, the word here so you he can give us an update, are there any other local updates that people wish to to share with us? Can you still hear me? Yes, yes. very well. We, 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 all we can add, we can add another hundred dollars from Sydney. Okay. Mm -hmm. we'll, transfer, we'll transfer that soon. Yeah. Thank you, Peter. That's wonderful. Any other updates? Brisbane, uh, the MUI and GTU members are meeting. And, uh, Lachlan, we can't hear you very well. Can you put your volume up or get closer to the mic? Uh, can you hear me now? Now, yes. Okay. So from Brisbane, uh, the MUA is going to donate the um, CFMEU mining will donate and so will the ETU. So they are yet to donate. And um, we've had some other uh, individual pledges. So a lot of that my cause, the recent uh, my cause donations have come from our appeal to our email bulletin. So that's been good. We've had a good response. So uh, one of the state secretaries put in $100 and we've got a, a few other um, uh, people donating there. So that's good. Excellent, Lachlan, thank you for that. I did notice a donation of $500 from a doctor or nurse in Brisbane. Yeah, so that's uh, Robin Brady. She's, yes. uh, she already, uh, um, she went to Cuba a couple of years ago and she took over some equipment to the yeah. to the um, children's hospital. So she's uh, a big supporter. So it's great. Mm. Yeah, thanks, Lockhart. Yeah, I do remember her. We, we assisted with the, I think that she brought in um, uh, ultrasound, ultrasound for children. And yeah, we, I'm aware that she donated that to the children's hospital. Wonderful. We do have the email addresses from people who donated, and we're gonna um, we're gonna um, send a letter, uh, a template letter of thanks. They, we have been thanking all the donors through my course facility, but later at the end we're gonna send a template letter to all. I noted that um, Bert is trying to to log in, but he has been trying to connect independently so we try to add him somehow here one sec but while you're doing that Vinny I did send a, another email to the CFMEU in New South Wales okay yeah yes after last call so we, I, don't, I, I haven't heard anything but I did send the, the email yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Peter. It does help when the local ACFS yeah. gets in touch. So I would like to welcome Bert and Sheila who just joined us. Welcome, Carmen. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Hello. Hello. We got Hello. Some. Hello. Okay. Hi, Marie. Hi, everybody. Hello. How are you? Hi, Marie. So this is a perfect timing to invite uh, Leima to join us. Hi, Give us an update. So welcome, Leima. Thank you for the effort as well. 
No, thank you. I don't know how many of you are already connected, uh, Vini. How many people? We, we have 11 out of 19, well, 18, because the ambassador is an apology. So it, eight more people will come up. We got uh, okay. Ed and Margaret from Melbourne, Marie Delora from Melbourne, Tim uh, from Sydney, Peter from Sydney, Chela from Sydney, um, Lachlan and Sue from Brisbane, uh, Peter Hood from Albury Bodonga, Elizabeth, myself, and Lorena from Perth. So that's what you got here. Okay. So thank you to all of you. I'm kind of nervous with the technology because, uh, you know, this is some uh, things that are quite new for, for me. I'm right here uh, doing everything, the technology and, uh, and the paper. Uh, well, uh, before I start with some other uh, details, I would like to pay uh, some kind of tribute and uh, express our condolences. We received the news of the passing uh, away of Jeff and uh, Ambassador sent me uh, a note about his uh, disease and I would like to express to his colleagues and as he was so solidarious with Cuba, uh, I wanted to remember him. Uh, we are very uh, focused on uh, trying to organize the, 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 the transfer of the donation. Uh, I have to say thank you because uh, in such a short time you have been doing a tremendous work to uh, uh, have this amount of money and I know that uh, we are living difficult times not only here in Cuba but everywhere so thank you because I know that uh, your countries also are facing some uh, uh, situations different but uh, at the same time uh, complicated. Uh, this uh, week after we uh, arranged this meeting we were talking to the head of the bank here in Cuba that it is going to receive the transfer because after you uh, use any way in, in, in Australia, there is an account that has been opened for uh, the COVID uh, recovery and the COVID uh, situation. And as soon as we receive the information and the uh, data of the uh, transfer that you are able to do, we immediately inform to this uh, bank and they will provide us the, they call it the slip of the bank with all the details of the transfer so you can know that the transfer are it's uh, in Cuba uh, uh, and for many years you know that there has been some situations with uh, some transfer and we want to uh, organize this uh, since um, the beginning so from our side, as soon as we receive that information from you, uh, we will contact the bank here to provide you the, the details. Uh, I wanted also to, to mention that uh, this account, it is dedicated to all the process of the battle against the COVID. Um, there are different uh, friends from around the world that are making their donations and depending on the materials or depending on the equipment and the amount of money that those equipments are uh, at the cost, uh, the uh, institutions and the organizations uh, will be uh, 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 taking uh, responsibly that money into uh, the uh, products and uh, uh, materials that are needed. Uh, needed. From ECAP, we are going to extend or send a letter uh, to you and uh, you were, Vinny, you were mentioning the list of donors. We uh, would like to uh, send also uh, a, a letter uh, to those uh, uh, 
comrades and organizations that have been uh, collecting uh, the money so as to thank them uh, for uh, the support and, and solidarity. Uh, regarding uh, the uh, whole process of solidarity that we are transforming uh, right now, I want to, to mention that the social media is taking more and more uh, our uh, days and uh, we have been doing some technological arrangements uh, at ECAP so as to be able to uh, communicate uh, more uh, frequently with the different uh, organizations. And I have uh, uh, something to as a proposal to you. We know that uh, it is important to know more information about Cuba, how uh, we are doing with the COVID, not only here in Cuba, but in other countries. So uh, I think that providing you with more information uh, we are also, in a way, contributing uh, to more people know about Cuba, to more people uh, get to know your organizations and the way you are uh, doing uh, your work. And we have contacted uh, a director of the a center that right now is leading uh, the process of COVID-19 uh, uh, COVID uh, in Cuba, and it is Dr. Jorge Fraga, and he is from the Institute of Tropical Medicine, Pedro Curi, probably you know it, know it as IPK, IPK, and he will be able to share with us next uh, weekend uh, some information about Cuba. And I think that if we do it uh, June uh, 5th, June 6th, depending on the time, it will also uh, be uh, beneficial for all the process of closing uh, the uh, donation uh, process that you have organized during these uh, days. So this is related to uh, the uh, donation process that you have been uh, doing and how we can also uh, contribute with more information. I have some other uh, issues and topics, but from here I would like also to know if you have any uh, question or suggestions uh, for us regarding the, the process of receiving the donation. Thank you, Leima. Uh, any questions to Leima on her report or comments? Could I, uh, could I ask a question of Leima? Yes, um, of course, yeah. Yes, Marie. Um, Leima, how confident do you feel? I know you said that uh, you would uh, send a, a notice as soon as the, um, the donations arrive in Havana. How confident do you feel with the bank that they will be accepting the donation from Kim Pryor? Is that happening regularly, that money's coming from other countries and, uh, and, and there's no problem? You mean the Cuban bank? Yeah, yeah. Yes, of course. They have uh, opened an international account and they are. this is the account that have been receiving other similar donations from other countries. Usually the situation, it is not in uh, the Cuban bank, but before it gets to the Cuban bank. I mean, it is during the, the, the transfer that it is stuck or confiscated as in other uh, past uh, uh, moments. Um, the director of this uh, bank uh, confirmed uh, to me that they can, with the information we are going to provide them, I mean, as soon as you send the, the money, the, the, the via that you, you can use, we can give them that information and they will do the, the track of the, 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 the transfer so yeah. as to uh, be aware of that money being sent to, to them. And they also tell me that they can uh, provide us like uh, the history of the transfer. I mean, oh, uh, right. when it was uh, sent, uh, 
the taxes that the the banks in between are going to 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 have because uh, every time you do a transfer, the the, the banks take uh, some uh, taxes and then they will uh, give us the final amount that will be uh, um, given to the uh, Cuban uh, institution or organization that is going to uh, uh, use the, the money. Mm. In this, uh, okay. I wasn't thinking about the Cuban bank, I was wrong. What I meant was the actual moment when it comes from overseas, the, the other banks that are sending it. Yeah, I think that something that it is in uh, in favor is it is that we are in communication. So we will receive yeah. the information as yeah. you uh, as soon as you you, you do it. Yeah. We will be talking uh, with the bank uh, here, so we can uh, also uh, give some kind of pressure to the different uh, intermediaries of. Intermediaries is not, not the word that I don't yeah. know no, how, how to word. say. They're intermediaries. They're, they're interfering yeah. in their whole transaction. Yeah. But the, I think yeah. you're absolutely right. This is the first time that we have ever uh, been in contact with ICAP beforehand and said, right, this money is about to be transferred. Can you follow? That would be fantastic mm. because in the past we have sent amounts of money and it wasn't clear where it went and ICAP didn't know where to go to follow it up. So I think this is a plus. Yes. So at least uh, um, we have all the, the contacts of the banks uh, right now from here. And I know that Ariel, our ambassador in Australia, is in direct contact with some uh, 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 people that are uh, arranging the or can uh, help in the process of the transfer. And also there are other uh, options in other countries and uh, we have friends in all those uh, other countries that have experiences sending money. Uh, so I think that we should mm -hmm. keep uh, in communication so as to do the follow up of the transfer. Thank you, Leima. Probably for the comrades who were in, in, on the call last weekend, uh, the two options that we have one is through the Australian Cuba Business Council, which probably will be the preferred option. And the second option as a backup is through the Canadian network with Cuba. They are currently in a fundraising effort as well, and they will send the money in a week or two. And when I wrote to them, they replied that they will be happy to assist if we get stuck with our option here in Australia. So there are those two options that we have and obviously through ICAP in the North American section, Asia Pacific and North American section can liaise and to guarantee that they, they identify our patients. So that's yes. the options. Uh, sure, Vini, because you know that uh, we have very good uh, uh, ties with our friends in, in Canada and as Canada has uh, uh, a lot of uh, contact with Cuba, it is closer, and we have some, uh, I mean, at the embassy, uh, our Cuban embassy in Canada, we have also uh, comrades there with a lot of experience uh, uh, dealing with the uh, blockade and ha seen different alternatives of how to uh, 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 overcome any any difficulties. So we are confident that in uh, any of the ways uh, you can finally use, we are optimistic. That is the, the truth. Thank you, Leima. So any other questions or comments on the report? Uh, just from me, uh, Vinny, it's probably not for Lama, but for uh, if you've been talking to Kim uh, prior, could you give us an update exactly what she was saying uh, about um, the possibility of transferring through the Business Council? Yes, um, I sent a, a text message to Kim on a couple of days ago to see how she went with the bank, with the interview that she had organized with the National Australian Bank. 
but she said that she does need a letter stating that it is a genuine fundraising effort uh, to justify also for accounting purposes how 50 or more thousand dollars will land into her account and they're going to be sent for a particular purpose. So I spoke to the ambassador yesterday and we are happy to issue that letter today with a copy to the ambassador and the ambassador told me that he will be endorsing a letter. Yes, to just make everything clear uh, for business purposes, but also under the sanctions. You know that they got the ticks, tick a box, tick a box. So just to ensure that there is a clarity between what has been raised through my course, which is under 30,000, but uh, we're going to transfer hopefully the 50 or more thousand dollars to explain how this money was raised through different branches of ACFS on a national effort. So as soon as we issue this, hopefully next week she can go back to the bank and get back to us. What I was suggesting, I haven't spoken to her before talking to, to you, is um, asking if she's happy to join us in a call like this, where she could actually explain to the groups how she is intending to send the monies, uh, the transfer, yes, for peace of mind. Uh, I think that probably like Lema mentioned, 100% guaranteed that the monies we get to there is, you know, we in the hands of the financial system, uh, anything could go wrong, but uh, a, a large percentage of probabilities is that the transaction can be done without any, any problems. Um, obviously, there are risks involved. But also we have the backup in Canada. The difficulty with Canada is that they want to do this first. And, you know, obviously I respect that. And that could take a few more weeks. So what I think that the idea was that as soon as we have the money uh, organized, that we should be sending those funds by the 15th of June, the latest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, follow up question. Sorry, um, Juan. Um, so, just in terms of um, the sanctions, I was looking at the um, US Treasury site there, OFAC, um, all their list of sanctions, because I was thinking, you know, we, it's probably worthwhile us <laughs> understanding exactly how they work so we can see if we can get around them in this and other in future cases uh, with the banks. And so there seems to be two levels at which the sanctions work. One is a general level of sanctions against Cuba, interactions with Cuba. And there's another, there's SD, specially designated persons that they have listed that you're not allowed to deal or that they will not permit people who are under US jurisdiction to deal with. Now, I'm not sure who's under US jurisdiction in terms of Australian banks. I presume any bank that's got a, a um, subsidiary in the United States will fall under US jurisdiction. But the other, the, the most of the um, list, I, the list is published on their website and there's uh, some ministries of the government and some tourist agencies, mainly associated with Gaviota Tourist Agency and, uh, and a big list of hotels. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, there's no mention of ECAP on that list or, uh, and so I, was, I was, so I presume that's the route that Kim Pryor is looking at when she's discussing it with the bank. Um, that, that there is, uh, uh, within the rules, ways of dealing with uh, Cuban institutions, so long as you're not on that list. But I'm, I'd be interested, Laima, if, if you could uh, uh, give any clarity around that, if, if people in ECAP have been looking at the, how, this, how we might get around the sanctions or, or um, not get around them, but so much as deal with them and, and and penetrate the the uh, barrier mm -hmm. that the United States has put up, but 
So I'm, I'd just be interested to see if, if anyone else has had any experience of, of of trying to work through this, because if we could uh, um, work through it, it'd be great that we could actually transfer money uh, direct from Australia if 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 we can understand the rules better, and 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 hopefully. Um, uh, would be an avenue for us to transfer money. Yes, well, there are different questions in one and I will try to, to cover it. Um, I think that one thing that it is, uh, we have to take into account, it is time. Uh, as soon as the process of the uh, donations and the transfer are done, the better because right now, well, it, just a few weeks uh, ago, um, we I'm receiving a, a message. Sorry, someone had to leave the conference. Um, right now, um, Cuba is on the list of countries that it is not supporting the battle against terrorism. So in that list doesn't mean that we are uh, promoting terrorism, that it is the other list that the United States have been putting Cuba uh, in the past uh, weeks. So that list uh, goes directly to the restrictions that banks imposed to uh, the transfer. So I think that time is important. But right now, Cuba is receiving uh, donations from different countries, from UK, from Canada, from uh, Vietnam, and from other countries. And I think that the transfer is different in each of those countries because the relationship are different. But there is an experience, I think, that in Australia has been uh, going uh, with uh, ups and downs in terms of transfer the money. And it is the Yes I Can program. The Yes I Can program has been able to uh, uh, um, uh, send their, uh, uh, the, the funds they put to, to, to the program uh, to the institution in Cuba that hosts uh, this uh, program. And they have also have the uh, advices of our uh, ambassador, uh, Ariel. So I think that there are ways uh, to uh, use uh, to send the, the, the money uh, to, to Cuba. The only uh, thing I think it is um, the, the, the process of doing it. Uh, I know that there is the uh, Kim that it is uh, helping in, in the uh, coordinations with the banks. Uh, there are banks that uh, have been uh, um, changing uh, their policies due to uh, uh, COVID-19 because there is a financial crisis uh, in the world and they are changing their policies. And I think that those are the details that uh, Kim should uh, find in uh, Australia. Uh, related to uh, the list of entities or organizations, sanctions or uh, or that are in the list of the United States or the State Department. You're right, ECAP is not in that list. And uh, scientific institutions that are at the end, the ones that will be uh, getting the benefits of your uh, uh, donations and the patients are not on uh, that list. Uh, we must remember that the attack to Cuba at the time of uh, the uh, um, the list that was announced uh, last uh, year was most focused on those areas related to tourism because tourism was one of the sectors that they wanted to uh, affect due to the incomes that Cuba received through uh, tourism and another institution other uh, related institutions that are from the uh, what they call the the, the military uh, 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 branches 
and uh, also related to transportation, hotels, and uh, uh, commodities, like, um, I mean, accommodation uh, places. So uh, that's why, uh, again, time will be uh, important because we don't know what other sanctions will be imposed uh, to Cuba. Every day, the State Department is tweeting about uh, the, 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 the blaming the medical uh, brigades uh, on that Cuba is sending to other countries. They are uh, blaming Cuba for not collaborating with the solutions uh, to terrorist uh, situations. So, uh, from uh, U.S., there will always be uh, some uh, uh, impositions. That's why we should look for other uh, ways and are the ones that I've been uh, mentioned. Thank I don't you. know if this can make some clarity or yeah, optimism. Thanks for that, Maima. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Leima. Yeah, definitely. That gave us a, a, a little bit of more appreciation when uh, Ambassador Ariel mentioned that window of opportunity that we need to seize uh, before the situation gets worse, if Cuba gets included in the list of countries sponsors of terrorism, that will be a, a more difficult situation. So we do need to take advantage now and set it as soon as possible. But, uh, Leima mentioned about the, the Cuban brigade role. Uh, do you have an updated uh, uh, report for how many brigades are currently working in how many countries? Well, so far, I mean, uh, the numbers are changing uh, almost every week. Uh, we have uh, 25 and there was another one getting ready. To, to, to depart uh, Cuba uh, that are going as part of the process of COVID, but there are other uh, brigades in uh, that uh, were uh, before COVID uh, started, but so far 25 are the ones that I, the last update that I have were 25 uh, brigades and there are some, uh, at least two others that we have been informed that are getting ready. Thank you, Lema. Any other questions? Uh, yes, uh, Vinny, just a Peter? question to Lema. Um, I heard that uh, Brazil has invited... Is that Ian? Uh, Brazil has invited Cuba back um, as one of the brigades. I just no, want to... Peter. Is that, is that true? I haven't uh, heard uh, uh, the confirmation of that. Um, I doubt it. Bec I mean, the people of Brazil, you, you mean the people of Brazil or the government of Brazil? I'm, I'm not too sure. I, I just, someone was mentioning the other day, one of our comrades had heard that uh, mm. Brazil, so I'm not too sure whether it was the people or the government. I, I thought Can Bolsonaro, I... who was uh, second in uh, of the highest to the United States in uh, cases um, might have had a change of heart. There are brigades in Argentina going to also to Peru, but Brazil is right now, uh, I mean, the president of, uh, of Brazil have had a, a position against Cuba aligned to uh, the United States. He has also uh, uh, blame uh, the medical brigades or accuse the medical brigades of uh, doing other uh, type of job uh, while they were in in Brazil. And uh, Brazil is right now the one of the countries of Latin America that it is more impacted by COVID for the Cuban doctors will be a tremendous honor, but it's very complicated the situation uh, there and I personally I haven't read any official information but personally I haven't I doubt that the Bolsonaro government uh, requests Cuba for aid or support. Thank you Leima. I've got Peter Witzel there. 
Yeah, you just, uh, I think it was last week, Ariel was explaining that uh, in Brazil, there were, of the 8,000 people there, 1,000 remained. And all that's happened is that they, those people, they, they, it's been facilitated that they can stay as opposed to people going there. So I think that answers the question. So of, of the 1,000 who remained in Brazil, they're, they're, they're not being driven out at the moment rather than that they've come. That, that was his explanation. But you, but uh, Peter, but you mean who stays in Brazil? Doctors. Oh, well, uh, Ariel explained there were eight thousand medical workers in Brazil. Yes, 7, but they seven thousand have left, and there was about a thousand yeah. still there, and and all they've done is taken the pressure off those thousand to leave for the moment. Yes, because those uh, Cuban. Uh, Doctors were already living uh, uh, in Brazil as part of personal uh, agreements or after the collaboration uh, agreement ended, they uh, decided to, to stay. And some of them, you're right, they have been uh, pushing to support more in Brazil, but not as part of the uh, official uh, brigade from Cuba. I mean, they are already there. They want to do more. Yeah. Thank you, Leima. Any other questions or comments, comrades? No? Yeah, um, Leima okay. mentioned about the possibility of having this uh, meeting on the 6th of June. I uh, can't remember if it is um, what, what day of the week it is. Uh, we don't have a calendar. Saturday. Saturday, which is suitable for us here, but with the idea, if I understood correctly, to involve other people in the region and try to find a suitable time and perhaps using Zoom. So I have sent a link to Zoom. I don't know how difficult it will be for people in this call to click on the Zoom link to see we all can switch so we can test with Lema the the possibility of using Zoom on the 6th of June. How difficult will be for people to switch? Is Has everybody Zoom on their devices? Sorry. I've used Zoom, but at the moment my laptop's giving me trouble. I'm on my tablet. I have no idea how to use it on tablets. So. Well, the only thing is if you see on the chat, on the chat room on the on the right hand side, there is a link. If you click on that link, it automatically will take you to the to the meeting. So we all Yeah, but I'm I, I, there's no way I can't I, I can't work my tablet very well. It's, a, it's marvel that I got this far. Right. But I don't use it much. Yep, yep. And for some reason, my, my laptop's just acting up. Would be difficult to, to test. Okay. Uh, how, how many people will be able to start behind to do the test with Lema? They are able to. I can do that. I can do that. I've okay. got yep, I can do that too, Vinny. Oh, beautiful. All yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a try. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Peter, if you if you see on your iPad, if you exit uh, full screen, that will give you the options on the bottom for chat. At the bottom of the of the screen on Skype, there are some icons there. And if you see the one on oh, the chat one, yes, the chat one. And if you scroll up, you will see a Zoom link. Yeah, I don't see anything. Yeah. I'm going to copy it uh, down the, as a fresh one uh, so everybody can see it. <laughs> it is there. As yeah, a fresh yeah, one. Is. Yep. So if people click on it, it, oh. it that would take it's us again. to. <laughs> yep. Disappeared. It's disappeared again. Um, I can send it. I can start here. Probably, if that's the case, we we have to to end the Skype call. That's right. You want us to go out of this call and go into the Zoom one? Is that right? Yes. Yes. Click on the link at this stage. All right.
What should I do, Vinny? From okay. here. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna end the Skype call and then I call you back. So I start tuned there. I'm gonna stop this and I'll see you on in Zoom. Okay. Hi, right, Vinny. Yeah, can you hear me? Well, from Havana, I can hear you. I can hear you. I think Vinny's gone to Zoom. Yep. It's probably worth noting that he's, there's a password to go into um, the Zoom call as well. So Although just note, that's required, it didn't require me to put the password in. Shouldn't.